Hi there everybody. So on today's video I have this uh, Mercedes A160. This is a 2010 and um, I'm gonna be changing the oil, the oil filter. Have a look at the condition of the air filter. Um, also have a look at the pollen filter and um, top up some screen wash fluid and also check the coolant level and antifreeze percentage. Um, so I'm gonna start with uh, topping up some screen wash fluid and that goes in that tank there. Okay that's pretty full. Um, that's where you would normally put your uh, screen wash fluid which you can buy from anywhere really. Uh, you can buy concentrated or ready mixed. And just pour it in there. Um, I'm not gonna pour any more because uh, it's pretty full. You can, uh, so if you buy the concentrated one, you mix it yourself, but if you buy the ready mix one, probably a lot easier. Just pour it in there, and you're ready for uh, winter. You don't want that to be freezing. Uh, when just when you need to go out and also make sure you keep it topped up as well so we often run out right when we need it the most um, right now we're gonna check the coolant coolant goes in that tank and um, if your car's been running and you gonna check this just be careful because uh, you can burn yourself from this uh, from the pressure even though these are made for safety really but uh, you never know if they fail or anything happens then you can burn yourself this car is uh, cold today I didn't I warm it up a little bit to do the, um, the draining the oil but um, I didn't really uh, um, heat it up too much so the condition uh, sorry the uh, amount that I'm looking for is it's to be on this line here around this line um, we might be able to So you can just about see the fluid in that tank. It's um, it's bluish in color, and uh, if if there wasn't much, if there was no fluid there, or it was low or anything, uh, this would look a little bit clear here. You could be, you could see the tank uh, more like the, like the screen wash tank basically. Um, so I can see that the coolant is up to here, so that is fine. You can also see it from from up here. You can just about see the fluid in there. So I'm happy with that, and uh, I'm gonna use um, this tool here to measure the percentage of antifreeze. I'm sure there are more uh, different tools out there, maybe more modern ones that measure the the coolant, but this is the one I have, and it works well. And also, I can see the um, coolant is nice and clear. So it's showing me to be on about minus 35. Which is good enough. Unless we go back to the ice age and then that will freeze. But basically it will have to be minus 35 for that to freeze.
Okay, so I'm happy with that. Um, if you found your coolant was low for any reason, um, if it was a little bit low, it's okay, you can top it up. If it was really low, you want to investigate, have a look at if there's any leaks anywhere, especially radiator area, um, which is at the front and whatnot. You would really want to check it from underneath. Um, now I'm going to um, check the condition of the air filter that will be here. I've got a T20 Torx here. Just remove two screws. Lift this up. This is where the filter is. So that isn't the cleanest, really. It's not tragically bad, um, but I may, I may decide, I may have to change it. But I haven't got the bit now. Um, anyway, this is. That's a Mercedes part, but it is uh, it's a man filter. As you can see there, it's a bit difficult to see, but um, it just says there man filter C2287. And if you get the Mercedes ones, it's A2660940004. And then you basically put it in there. Lift this up. This way, that bit goes down. And you want it to clip in there. Sometimes it's hard to get this to clip. You have to push pretty hard when the filter is new. Um, so occasionally I, I push it there and then I close this and these two little metal bits here will go against this and will push it in. And then we get our two little screws. Just close them gently, they're only going into plastic, so if you overdo it, they will just round the plastic and they will no longer be secure and then you'll have to use a bigger one. So once they close and you feel it's, it's tight, you leave it there, you don't need to tighten any more than that. Okay, so we can now have a look at the pollen filter. Pollen filter on this car is up here where all the dirty leaves are. There are three clips to take that little cover out. Just need to uh, press them here. And then that cover and clips from the bottom as well, just from these bits.
and the pollen, pollen filter is just in here we just need to uh, lift this little cover here and take the pollen filter out again it's not tragically dirty but it is uh, it does have a lot of uh, leaves and things also just uh, remember how it came out the airflow in this case is showing airflow goes into here and then into the car so this is again this is a man filter CU 4054 I don't have one right now so I'm gonna fit this one back in and and sorry in this case uh, it's this way around really the airflow is going in from here up into the car that's why it's important to remember which way it came out I just remember because this bit here came out that side so uh, you can see this part of the pollen filter is exposed to the air um, so that's the side um, the outside air is coming in and it's going in that way that's why the arrows are pointing that way uh, so that's how you would change it if you have to change it um, it says here you got some little marks that says push So all the clips will clip in and this also down here will clip in. It can be a bit can be a little bit hard to push them in but not not really that bad. And um, that's pretty much it. Now um, make sure you keep this area clean because what normally happens is uh, water comes down water gets in there if these drain areas are not clean I mean uh, like this particular one all the leaves are blocking the water drainage not too much but then what happens is the water goes in there and it goes into the um, hedgehog sensor that hedgehog sensor is the one that controls the fan um, the fan speed so the one two three four and often this car suffers with a, a bad uh, hedgehog because the water goes in there and then it, it stops working and usually works only on the five, highest speed and then you have to change that but if you keep that area clean you can avoid that and also make sure this is closed properly obviously to avoid any water going in alright well with that with that said, um, let's move on to doing the oil and the oil filter. And for that, I'm going to open the oil filler cup here. <laughs> I'm just going to leave it sitting there. That's just to allow some air to come in while we drain the oil. And also pull the dipstick. Again, same purpose. And uh, you may see that the filter is sitting down there so we need to get that out
So I have a long extension and I have this tool. This is a 27 mil. It doesn't necessarily have to be this one. You can use a normal socket. <coughs> And I have my ratchet here. Sometimes it is a little bit hard to to open. <clears throat> right. Shouldn't really be that tight. But nevertheless was okay so uh, that is uh, loose now it's gonna remove that you can uh, you can leave it there for a few minutes um, so it drains whatever oil is in there down to the sump. Um, that's just because if I pull it out the filter will be soaked and uh, we're gonna drip oil around. Uh, if you leave it there for five minutes it tends to uh, drain out and then uh, you don't really make much of a mess. or you can grab a bit of paper and try to remove it as, as uh, carefully as possible. But not much came out. So that's our filter there. And that will just pop out like so. And I'm just going to wipe this off a little bit. And then we're going to prepare this while we drain the oil. We're going to prepare our new filter. Okay, so now um, I'm going to get the car up and uh, And we are going to drain the oil. Um, I can see a little drop came down here. Okay, so let's get the car up and drain it. Okay, so uh, looking at the car from underneath, um, if we just go back here. we will be able to find the sun plug bolt which is just uh, the one in the middle here and that is a 13 mil so just get yourself a 13 mil and a spanner I mean a, a wrench and also an oil pan to catch the oil. And again, if um, you're doing this while the car is hot, it's been running or um, you've been using it and then you're doing this, uh, the oil may be very hot and you can burn yourself. In this case, uh, this particular one, again, I only warmed it up a little, so it's okay. Okay. 
and that oil looks actually fairly clean. I think this car didn't do many miles, but it's just been sitting here. Um, it's been sitting for about a year, so um, we do change it anyway. Uh, as moisture and condensation will um, will form in there. Um, now, while that is draining, we're gonna take care of our air fi um, oil filter. Okay, so today's uh, oil filter is this one. That's the part number there. And it's this one here, which comes with this uh, O-ring and this, this little O-ring here. So I'm just gonna remove the O-ring from, from the oil filter housing here and we can fit the new one in there. Just make sure it goes in the correct groove. Um, this one here usually goes here. That really helps your tool to stay on there so you can pull this out, but as you saw, I was able to pull this out just get my hand down there and and get it out but in case you have that special tool that grips onto this we can get that in there I'm just gonna put a little bit of uh, multi-purpose grease around this o-ring And that just uh, helps when we screw this uh, on, back on, it helps the rubber accommodate nicely. And then the filter pushes in there. And that's it, that's our filter ready. So now I'm just gonna wait for the oil to drain properly. Just give it another 10 minutes or so and then we'll come back to it and uh, close that and lower the car okay so I'm gonna refit my sump plug bolt now um, also just uh, check the condition of the copper washer that's uh, come come out with the uh, with the sump plug if it is in good conditions uh, like this one is we can reuse it and if it's not then uh, you can get another one, get a new one. Okay so that's done. Again you don't need to over tighten that uh, sun plug bolt. Um, just clean the area once you're finished and now we can uh, top up some oil and refit our new oil filter. So I'm gonna lower the car now and we can go ahead and do that. Okay, so looking at the car from up here now, um, we're gonna refit the filter. So the filter goes straight down there. Um, and um, I always get it in by hand as much as I can, make sure it's going in the correct way. And I can then use my ratchet. And those normally um, on the top of the cover uh, of the filter housing, it says 25 Newton meters. 24 or 25. So now it's, it's closed. Um, I normally just give it an extra little turn there. About what, a centimeter, a couple of centimeters. And uh, that's pretty much 
done and now we can uh, put some oil so again I've got the manual here um, this is um, an A160 if you look at the capacities this is uh, on page 259 uh, the A160 along with a few other models there um, including the oil filter it's 5 liters and um, regarding the viscosity again it depends where you live I'm gonna use 5W30 but they ask you to refer to this chart as well um, for what oil to use so obviously if you live in uh, Alaska you may want to use uh, slightly thinner oil um, or if you're in a very hot area then you go towards the the right so whatever best suits your climate and here in the UK well we have all this range here 5W30, 5W40, 5W50 um, even 10W30 there covers a good range of temperatures Okay, so just have a quick look at the dipstick here. Um, if you look at the dipstick, we have a minimum down here and a maximum up on this end. I can see the oil here in this case is just above the, the little arrow that's there. So I'm going to wipe it off in a second where the max is. It's just gone above, um, which is fine because um, some of that oil goes into the oil filter housing. Okay, so now maybe we can see the little marks there, the little arrow there with the max. So it's just at the, at the edge of that, the metal and the red here. That's the max, and the minimum is down here. So, in this case, we are up here, we're just up here, and then once we run the car, this will drop down a little bit to the max. Um, so, that is normal. Um, and also, that's uh, a way you can check your, your oil through the year so if your oil was halfway that metal shiny bit um, then you would want to top it up a little bit um, if it was in the minimum then again usually depending on the car between the minimum and the maximum is around uh, 500 mils but it really depends some some cars is, a, is one liter so again you have to refer to your manual so I'm just going to get the car started and uh, just make sure everything is okay. Um, and that's uh, pretty much it. So I hope this video helps and thank you for watching.